go. Okay, guys, welcome back to our revision class. Revision class. So, kita akan start. I will go question by question. Guys, if you have a question, this is the time that you can ask me. Okay? So, kalau kamu uh, you have a question, you can unmute and ask me or you can put it over the chat room. Saya akan jawab. Okay? Jom kita mula tengok soalan. Kita ada banyak soalan eh, nak buat. Okay. Uh, di kat sini ada BM and BI. So, it shouldn't be a problem. Which of the following diagram represents magnesium? Uh, jom, eh. <coughs> Kicap. Okay. Magnesium oxide. Guys, can I ask you, magnesium oxide have how many? How many atoms? How many atoms? Magnesium oxide. Dia ada berapa jenis atom? Bagi tahu saya. Dia ada atom magnesium. Dia ada mag atom oxygen. Therefore, magnesium oxide, dia diperbuat daripada dua atom yang berbeza. Dua atom yang berbeza. And also guys, can I ask you something? Magnesium oxide ini, it is in what form? Solid ke liquid ke gas? Solid ke liquid ke gas? Solid. Maka, sasalah A is wrong, B is wrong. Between C and D, yang mana ada dua unsur? Dua unsur yang berbeza. Yang mana ada dua unsur yang berbeza? C, maka jawapan dia adalah C. Macam ni, jor. Next one. Next one, eh. Okay. Diagram 1 shows the electron arrangements of a chemical compound. Tengok sini betul-betul. Saya ada satu X, eh, dua X, X dua, dan juga ada satu Y. Uh, saya tahu ada yang dah pandai, pandai dah siapkan soalan, tapi saya still akan pergi one by one. Sebab mungkin ada pelajar yang tak faham kenapa dia dapat macam tu. So, saya go one by one, ya. Guys, jangan rushing. Okay, X to Y. X to Y. Korang tengok, eh. X ni, saya uh, store dia ni adalah charge negative. 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 And also, Y ni adalah two positive. Jadi, ini adalah ionic bond. Ionic bond yang ada positif dengan negative. Yang bercas positif ni mostly adalah metal. Dan juga yang charge negatif ni adalah non-metal. Okay, non-metal dia bukan logam. Dan ni adalah non-metal. Jadikan guys, boleh ke? Jadi kau tengok eh, dia tulis kat what X kan? X ni dia tulis sodium. Tak boleh lah. Sebab X adalah non-metal. Jadi A salah, C salah. A salah, C salah. Automatically out. Sekarang ni, ini bercas dua positif. Y bercas dua positif. Apa anta, okay. Apa cas Na? Apa cas Na? Positif. Apa cas Mg? Mg 2 plus. Jadi jawapan dia mana? B ke D? B ke D? Jawapan dia adalah D donkey. Ini cara nak buat. Ini cara nak buat. Okey, sekarang ni kita pergi untuk C uh, nombor 3. Kalau ada soalan boleh tanya eh. Diagram 3 show the formula of a some component compounds that are formed from the reaction between the element. Kita ada ni. Okey, guys, look at here. Semua ini adalah non metal. It is a non-metal. Therefore, dia bukan logam. Bukan logam. Maka dia adalah covalent. Dia adalah covalent bond. Bila dia covalent bond, okay, jom kita tengok eh. Antara yang berikut, yang manakah persamaan antara formula ini? Apa persamaan dia? Kita nak cari persamaan. Okay, okay, jom kita tengok. Terbentuk daripada gabungan logam dengan bukan logam. Betul ke? Betul ke? False statement. Wrong. Okay. Terbentuk melalui perkongsian elektron. It is share valent elektron. Yes or no? Yes or no? Dia nampak betul. Tapi jangan excited. Jangan excited. We look C and D. Terbentuk uh, melalui pemindahan elektron. No. This is for ionic. 
merupakan sebatian ion. No, ion adalah untuk benda yang bercharge. Therefore, the answer, the right accurate answer is B, boy. Right uh, accurate answer is boy. Okay? So, now we go to hydrogen bond. We go to hydrogen bond. Which of the... Ingat hydrogen bond kena ada apa? Kena ada apa? Hydrogen bond? Dia kena ada phone. Those yang dalam kelas saya, dia tahu dah. Okay. Which of the following compound consists of the hydrogen bond? Kini kan, nak buat benda ni, nak buat benda ni, you kena tahu formula. Ini kan, NH3. Okay, Patricia, NH3. Ini NH4+. NaCl. Uh, methyl benzene. Dah syak doh ini. Okay, methyl benzene. Okay, mari saya ajar eh. I go one by one. Guys, antara A, B, C, D, which one is a phone? Which one is a phone? A, B, C, D. Okay, Kalida, dengar sini. C, yes, even though C have a nitrogen, tapi dia ada charge positive. Maka D bukannya hydrogen bond. Ini adalah dative covalent bond. Ini adalah dative covalent bond. Ah, NH4 plus is dative covalent bond. Therefore, which of the following compound consists of a hydrogen bond? Saya rasa the accurate one, accurate one yang ada ammonia. Ammonia is the more accurate. Dia paling accurate. Sebab kalau NH4 tu dah jadi dative covalent bond. Faham ke tak? Faham ke tak? Yes. Okay. Jangan keliru ya guys. NH4 plus is dative. Sir, but not got got no phone. Kenapa pula tak ada phone? Nitrogen kan ni? Nitrogen kan phone? Adalah jeramia. Okay, next. Tak apa. Next one eh. Which of the following compound can conduct electricity? Guys, benda yang boleh conduct electricity, dia mesti ada apa sayang? Bagi tahu saya, it must consist of what? It can conduct electricity, therefore it is must have what? Dia ingat tak hari tu saya cakap dia juga dikenali sebagai electrolyte. Electrolyte mesti ada free moving ions. Free moving ions. Dia mesti ada ion bergerak bebas. Okey. Jadi ions kat sini bermaksud dia kena ada cat ion dengan an ion. An ion, cat ion dengan an ion. Jadi sugar is not Naphtalin is not sebab sugar and naphtalin adalah covalent. 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 Molten magnesium chloride. Yes, sebab dia adalah ionic. Dia adalah ionic. Solid, solid lead bromide. Dengar sini. Ini memang ionic. Ini memang ionic. Tapi kan guys, Tengok apa problem dengan ni. Apa problem dengan ini, perkataan ni. Look carefully. What is the problem with this? Dia solid. Bila dia dalam solid, can solid conduct electricity? Can solid conduct electricity? No. Therefore, the answer is C. The answer is C. Hmm. What I mean by solid because they already mentioned over here, Jeremiah. It is a solid lead bromide. Solid I have teach you in the class. It is very close the pack. When close pack, it can't conduct electricity because it doesn't have any free moving ions. That's the main thing. Yeah. 
molten molten is stand for you already melted melted dia kan cair boleh lah conduct electricity okay can i move to the next one guys okay good uh huh wait ah huh? erase this okay let's look this section guys okay uh okay you have a ionic bond and this one and this one eh okay table 1.1 shows the proton number of three element j k and l the letter is used not do not represent the actual symbol okay fine guys 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 ini kan proton once you know the proton number you know the arrangement apa arrangement dia 2 4 2 8 2 2 8 7 guys once you know the arrangement you tahu lah yang mana satu logam mana satu bukan logam j logam ke bukan logam j logam ke bukan logam j itu logam ke bukan logam tell me guys dia bukan logam it's a non metal it is a non metal ya yeah? Dia, tahu tak kenapa dia bukan lo, na, uh, non metal? Tahu tak kenapa dia non metal? Sebab, okey, kalau tak tahu tanya. Metal tu adalah daripada group 1 until 13 sahaja. Very good, Alisha, betul. Then non metal ni dia akan start daripada group for uh, 14 until group 18. So, dalam kes ni 2 4, 4 kan nak uh, group 14. Valence electron dia 4, maka dia group 14. Group 14 non metal. Dia jadilah non metal. Faham ke tak? Faham ke tak? Okay, good. Now, you look at K, metal or non metal? K okay, metal or non metal is a metal panda dia logam and also 287 287 metal or non metal is a non metal panda nampak tak guys senang je soalan dia ni senang je so let's look at that <coughs> write the electron arrangement of atom k and ion k dengar sini betul-betul atom and ion guys atom what do you mean by atom atom bermaksud dengar sini eh kalau saya cakap atom dia adalah neutral what do you mean by neutral tell me apa maksud you neutral dalam kelas i have told you i have told you in the class what i mean by neutral tak ada charge. Betul tak ada charge. Apa maksud neutral? Saya tak dapat lagi jawapan. Tell me. Ya yeah, betul. Tadi saya dah, saya dah nampak satu jawapan. Farah Akila jawab. Ah, Farah is in my class earlier. Bila saya cakap neutral, bilangan proton dengan bilangan elektron dia sama. When I say new, uh, neutral, the total atom and total proton is the same. Therefore, atom K, atom K is 2, 8, 2. Guys, ion. What do you mean by ion? Apa maksud ion? Apa maksud ion? Apa maksud ion? Stabil. Macam mana dia jadi stabil, Alisha? Dia ada charge. Okay, macam mana? Kenapa dia ada charge? Very good. Very good. Very good. Dia jadi stabil sebab it it is a metal, am I right? If it is a metal, then it donate electron. How many electron I donate? How many electron does I donate? Two. Maka electron arrangement dia adalah two eight. Macam ni je. Macam ini je. Okay. Now. Write the formula of compound formed between K and L. K and L. 
Guys, K donate how many electron? K donate how many electron? Two. Therefore, it become two positive. And I, uh, uh, sorry, L, L, lack of how many electron? L, lack of how many electron? Dia kurang berapa electron? Untuk octet. Untuk octet. Satu. Dia terima satu electron. Therefore, negative. Kan, guys? Therefore, what you are going to do? Ini ke sini. Ini ke sini. What is the formula? What is the formula? K... L2 KL2 Clear Clear Very good Very good Let's move on Unsur J bertindak balas dengan unsur L J is a non-metal And L is a non-metal Saya dapat a covalent compound Okay, bagus. With the formula of a JL4. State true properties of this covalent compound. Very good. Very good. Tell me something about this covalent compound. Tell me. Physical properties dear. Covalent. Apa ciri-ciri covalent? Saya pernah ajar. Yang saya buat dalam table tu. Very good, Kalida. Low. Melting and boiling point. Mempunyai takat lebur, takat didih yang rendah. Mempunyai takat lebur dan takat didih yang rendah. Itu memang ciri covalent. Itu memang ciri covalent. One more guy. One more guy. Uh, saya dengar. Soluble in organic solvent. Pardon? Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Can I go? Can I proceed? <coughs> okay. Ia larut dalam pelarut organik tetapi tidak larut dalam I. Okay, in English, eh? in English, listen, it dissolved in organic solvent, but does not dissolve in water. Does not dissolve in water. <coughs> does not dissolve in water. Okay, draw the electron arrangement diagram of this one. Guys, susunan raja, susunan raja, lukis raja, susunan elektron. Ini kan, ini, boleh ke saya lukis? 